Hi, and welcome to The Answer Is You. Here is what Alan Watts had to say about consciousness, and then I will go on to talk about ways to apply consciousness into some spiritual practices. I wanted to also thank you so much for listening and would very much appreciate that you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And with that, enjoy. Consciousness is not a thing or a substance, but a process, a continuously changing stream of experiences. This reflects my belief that consciousness is not a fixed or static entity, but rather a dynamic and ever-changing phenomenon that arises out of our moment-to-moment -moment experiences. The only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. This speaks to the idea that consciousness is not separate from the world around us, but rather intimately connected to it. One must embrace the constant flux of life in order to truly understand and engage with the world. The universe is not a trap set for us by a malevolent creator who wants to see us fail. It is simply indifferent. Consciousness is not a victim of a cruel and arbitrary universe, but rather an integral part of it. The universe is a vast interconnected web of energy and matter, and our consciousness is an expression of this larger cosmic order. We seldom realize, for example, that our most private thoughts and emotions are not actually our own for we think in terms of languages and images which we did not invent, but which were given to us by our society. Now our consciousness is shaped and influenced by the culture and society in which we live. I also believe that individual identities are also the product of a larger collective consciousness. Now I would say, muddy water is best cleared by leaving it alone. This speaks to the idea that consciousness is not something that can be forced or controlled but rather something that arises naturally when we let go of our attachments and expectations. I believe that true consciousness is not something that can be grasped or attained, but rather something that emerges spontaneously when we are in a state of surrender and openness. Now I would go on to add what Watts was just speaking about in the context of becoming spiritually conscious is the process of awakening to the deeper truths and realities that underlie our everyday experiences. It involves cultivating a sense of connection to something greater than ourselves and developing an awareness of the interdependence of all things. While there is no one-size-fits-all approach to becoming spiritually conscious, there are some common practices and strategies that can help facilitate this process. So with that being said, let's explore some of these practices and how to implement them in one's life. One of the most important practices for becoming spiritually conscious is cultivating mindfulness. Mindfulness involves bringing your attention to the present moment and being fully present with your experience. This can be done through various practices such as meditation, yoga, or simply taking a few moments to pause and breathe deeply. When you're mindful, you're able to observe your thoughts, emotions, and sensations without getting caught up in them. This can help you develop a greater sense of inner peace and clarity which can in turn support your spiritual growth. Another way to become spiritually conscious is to connect with nature. Spending time in natural environments can help you feel more grounded and connected to the larger web of life. You can do this by taking walks in the park, hiking in the mountains, or simply sitting outside and observing the natural world around you. As you connect with nature, you may start to feel a sense of awe and wonder at the beauty and complexity of the world which can help you develop a greater appreciation for the interconnectedness of all things. Gratitude is another important practice for becoming spiritually conscious. When you're grateful, you're able to focus on the positive aspects of your life and cultivate a sense of abundance and contentment. You can practice gratitude by keeping a gratitude journal where you write down things that you're thankful for each day. You can also practice gratitude by expressing appreciation to others or simply taking a moment to appreciate the small things in life, like a beautiful sunset or a kind gesture from a stranger. Another way to become spiritually conscious is to seek out spiritual teachers and community. This can be done through attending religious services, participating in spiritual retreats, or joining a spiritual community or group. By connecting with others who share your spiritual interests and values, you can gain support and guidance in your spiritual journey. You can also learn from the wisdom and experience of spiritual teachers who can offer insights and practices to help you deepen your spiritual awareness. Engaging in service is another important practice for becoming spiritually conscious. When you serve others, you're able to put your spiritual values into action and connect with something larger than yourself. Service can take many forms from volunteering at a local charity to simply helping a neighbor in need. 
By engaging in service, you can develop a greater sense of compassion and empathy, which can help you connect with the deeper realities of life. Finally, cultivating a sense of purpose is another important practice for becoming spiritually conscious. When you have a sense of purpose, you're able to align your actions and values with something larger than yourself. You can cultivate a sense of purpose by reflecting on your values and goals and by asking yourself what kind of legacy you want to leave behind. By connecting with your sense of purpose, you can find meaning and direction in your life, which can support your spiritual growth and development. In conclusion, becoming spiritually conscious is a process that involves cultivating mindfulness, connecting with nature, practicing gratitude, seeking out spiritual teachers and community, engaging in service, and cultivating a sense of purpose. These practices can help you deepen your awareness of the deeper truths and realities of life and connect with something greater than yourself. While the process of becoming spiritually conscious is unique to each individual, these practices can be implemented in various ways to support your spiritual growth and development. To implement these practices in your life, start by choosing one or two practices that resonate with you and begin incorporating them into your daily routine. For example, you might start by setting aside a few minutes each day to practice mindfulness or by taking a daily walk in nature. As you start to experience the benefits of these practices, you can gradually add in other practices and deepen your spiritual awareness. It's important to approach the process of becoming spiritually conscious with an open mind and heart and to be patient and compassionate with yourself as you navigate this journey. And with that being said, thank you for visiting and taking the time to listen. Blessing to you and yours. Namaste.